Welcome to Electron Online, and here's another interesting application for right triangles. Let's say we are looking out at the stars and we notice the planet Venus, either right after sundown or maybe right before sunup. We measure the angle between the line going directly from the Earth to the Sun to the line going from the Earth to Venus, and we notice that that angle is 44.3 degrees, and also at that moment, the angle from that line to this line and that line to this line is exactly 90 degrees, so we have ourselves a right angle triangle. That should allow us to figure out the distance from Venus to the Sun. So let's say the distance is equal to question mark. How far is it then from Venus to the Sun? All right. It's actually fairly straightforward if you know right triangles. Here we can see that we want to find, let's see, we have the hypotenuse of the triangle, there's the right angle. Remember, the hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle. Here's the angle theta, and there's the opposite side. So we're looking for the opposite side. We know that the hypotenuse is one astronomical unit, which is 93 million miles. So we want to know the opposite side, we know the hypotenuse. Hmm, that means we have to use the sine. The sine is a relationship between the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So we can say that the sine of theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse and in this case the opposite side is equal to d and the hypotenuse is one astronomical unit or 93 million miles. We want to find out d so we can write then that d the distance is equal to one astronomical unit times the sine of theta in this case theta is 44.3 degrees like so and so d is equal to Use a calculator, so 44.3, take the sine of that, and we get 0 0.6984, so that's 0 0.6984 astronomical units. If we now multiply that times 93 million, we get the answer in miles. So times 93, and we get 64.95 or 65, so therefore D is equal to about 65 million miles for the distance between Venus and the Sun. All right, so now don't come back and say, hey, that's not quite correct. It's slightly different. This is just an exercise. I put on some approximate numbers, but at least it shows us how we can use this technique to find distances in our solar system or even distances to stars using these right angle techniques. And that's how we do that.